football's back. Yes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Old Gold and Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rose and thank you for joining me on this, the eve of the championship season, unless you are one of the teams we're playing tonight or a Sky Sports fan. Wolves entertain Middlesbrough tomorrow. It's one of the most anticipated seasons in my memory and possibly in the history of the club. The amount of money that's been spent, the atmosphere that's going to be created around the club, the manager, all has added up to massive, massive enthusiasm towards the the season. It's going to be the first sellout on the first day of the season since 1975. It's the biggest crowd expected since 1981. Middlesbrough have sold their section. They've got an exciting season ahead of them as well. And I think that it's going to be an incredible match. The Wolves are trying to get people to come to the game early tomorrow because there are going to be two displays for Carla Kimi in the North Bank and the South Bank to show their support for him. So hopefully that will be well received. I'm sure it will be and uh, it will be quite an emotional time. And Nuno, speaking in his interview yesterday, was encouraging the Wolves fans to shout Carla Kimi's name as loud as possible throughout the game so that it give him and his family a bit of that boost. It's also expected to be an announcement at half-time to announce the Wolves' first ever third kit. Now, there have been some rumours that there could be an announcement of a sign-in alongside this third kit. Now, imagine if Andre Gray came out at half-time wearing the third kit like Neves did with the away kit. Could it happen? Now, as for the team that's going to start tomorrow, I think it's going to be similar to the one that played against Leicester, but of course, Cavaliero is suspended following his red card against Derby County, so he's going to miss the first two games of this season because it was a three-match ban. So he missed the last game of last season, the first game of the season, and then possibly the League Cup match, so he should be back for next Saturday. Hawes, Marshall and Costa are also out injured. Dicko is 50-50 I think at the moment, he's doubtful. I don't think it really matters too much if he's on the bench or if he's starting because we've got Bonatini now. We don't know who he is, we haven't seen him. He's had three weeks of pre-season apparently but not much match practice. I don't know how much that really will affect him. Throw him in I say and he should receive some excellent service tomorrow and hopefully as a result grab a goal. So my preferred 11 would be John Ruddy in goal, the back three of Cody, Bolly and Miranda, Douglas and Doherty as the Wing backs, Neves and Sice in the middle, and then Jota, Bonatini, and Jordan Graham. I think it's a fairly straightforward team at the moment. The team that played against Leicester for me were incredibly skillful in the way they moved the ball and the way they understood each other's positions and stuff like that was brilliant. And if we can turn out a performance like we did against Leicester against Borough, then I think we're going to get a win. So as for Middlesbrough, their key man has got to be British Sombolonga. 14 goals last season for Nottingham Forest. He's a big, powerful striker, and we can expect him to be getting a lot of service from Middlesbrough midfield. And probably I could see him scoring tomorrow because we tried to sign him in the summer transfer window as well. It's always, always happens, doesn't it? Personally, I think it's a good time to play Middlesbrough the first game of the season. They are going to be up there fighting at the end of the season. They are my favourites to win the league altogether. But if there was a good time to play them, it would be now. The start of the season, before they've managed to get into their stride and to win matches, hit them now while they're a, bit, they're a little bit low on confidence, perhaps, having been relegated. They've had a mixed pre-season as well, so we could catch them cold and try and... So, providing that we start the game well, I think. OK, it's time for a new feature. Before all the weekend's games, I'm going to give you five Tom's tips. So, here they are. Tip number one. QPR against Reading... I'm backing Reading to win. Burton against Cardiff. Cardiff to win. So two away wins in the championship. Bit of... League 1. Southend against Blackburn. Blackburn to win. League 2. Crew against Mansfield. Crew to win. And then Celtic against Hearts. Celtic to win. Five games. Five predictions. A couple of away wins in there as well. If they come back, that'll be quite a good return for you. Let me know how you're feeling about the game tomorrow in the comments section down below. I've never been so excited for the football season to start. I think that what the business that Wolves have done in the pre-season has been exceptional, far beyond what any of us expected when the season ended at the beginning of May. The coaching staff they brought in, the fitness staff they brought in, I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned that last Saturday, but the, what the players were doing off the pitch, warming up, was I'd never seen anything like that under Tony Daly. The only thing they seemed to do under Tony Daly was run towards him in the centre circle and then run away quickly. 
they were looked like they were being worked hard on the end, edge of the pitch. Perhaps that was just because it was a pre-season game, but regardless of that, they look sharp. It wouldn't surprise me if Wolves brought in one or two more players now before the end of the transfer window as well, especially another striker. But the most important thing, I think, for tomorrow is to get behind the boys, to show our support for Carla Kimi. You can go down and show your support for Carla Kimi today by taking part in the 24-hour penalty shootout that's in the North Bank car park. You can also sign up for bone marrow donation and blood donation, which is vital for leukemia treatment in the links down below and let's make sure we all get behind the boys now this season it's a massive massive opportunity it's been a revolution the media are all slagging us off they're all wondering where the money has come from let's just enjoy it i think that wolves have got the foundations now for a great season i don't think we'll get promoted but i certainly think we'll have a shout and we'll be in the top six come the end of the season and then in the lottery the playoffs who knows but Let's be patient with it. Let's back the boys. They're going to have lots of possession. We're going to be building from the back. Let's hope, fingers crossed, that this is our year. Thank you very much for watching this video. Drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get excited for the season. Come on!